Hi everyone, welcome to FT Insights. I'm Mike Fibus. You know, in my last video, I talked about one way to enter the smart home era. That was with connected security cameras. Today, I'd like to talk about another popular option, smart thermostats. I bought two Ecobee 4 thermostats, one for each of our HVAC units. I opted for the Ecobee 4 instead of the Ecobee 3 because the 4 has Amazon Alexa built in. Uh, I've been anxious to see what it would be like to have Alexa's tentacles all throughout the house, and this seemed like as good an opportunity as any to get started on that. The thermostats list for $249 a piece, but I found mine for less. Plus, Arizona Public Service, or APS, our electric utility, offers a rebate for each smart thermostat you install, up to five. The thermostats were easy to install. When I removed the old thermostats, it turned out that our newer HVAC unit was configured to power the Ecobee 4 without modification. But our older unit did not have a C-wire. That's what provides power to the thermostat. So in the garage, in the blower, I had to install this. It's a power extender kit that Ecobee provides with your unit. That turned out to be pretty easy. The whole process, in fact, only took about a half hour. The Ecobees look attractive on the wall and the user interface, whether on the thermostat, in the app, or via a browser window, is very intuitive. We also really appreciate the room sensors that come with each unit. We had an extreme cold spot in our bedroom, so we put one of the sensors in there, and that's pretty much wiped out the problem. Unfortunately, a lot of the Ecobee smart features were not built for our situation. For one thing, we're on a peak power plan with APS. That means it's really expensive to use electricity from 8, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and pretty economical the rest of the time. The premium is different each month. It's determined by the peak period hour during which you drew the most power. The larger the demand in that hour, the bigger the premium. Another thing that makes it difficult, I don't commute. I'm either working out of the house or on the road for days at a time. Even when I'm away, we don't want Ecobee cooling the house ahead of when my fiance gets home because that's usually during the most expensive hours in the power plant. To minimize the peak penalty, we set a goal of using no more than one big machine during that time. No washer, dryer, and pool filter. And even though it's the hottest time of day, only one AC unit can run at a time. So I set up a schedule. To make that period more palatable, the thermostats drop to 72 degrees at 1.30 in the afternoon. That gives them 90 minutes to chill the house ahead of the witching hour. On a hot Phoenix summer day, they never make it down that low. But they do send us into the hot peak time with a few degrees worth of runway. During the peak, I've got the older, smaller HVAC unit set to 86 degrees. That means it's effectively off until 8 p.m. The newer, bigger one is set to 78 degrees, one degree higher than during off-peak hours. You can see what that looks like thanks to APS's app. Demand just drops like a rock right at 3 p.m. And about an hour later, usage climbs a bit as the one AC unit kicks in. And then it bumps up again at 8 o'clock once the peak period is over. And you can see the impact on our bill. I installed the thermostats in late May. Based on the trends, I easily saved $75 on the June bill. And the last day of the cycle was June 14th. So I should save quite a bit more on the July bill. Obviously, that's pretty exciting. Still, it'd be nice if the Ecobees took into account the peak period, so I didn't have to. Plus, that would mean we could turn the smart features back on, because at least now they'd be smart enough not to jack up the bill during peak periods. Here's what else I'd like to see. As part of that peak pricing awareness, I'd also like to call out holidays, which are totally off peak, even if they occur during the week. And here's the biggest thing. I'd really like the smart goodness to extend to a multi Ecobee household. Right now, they're not aware of each other. But if they were, it would mean that Ecobee could decide when to run each AC unit without running both during the peak hours. All I do is shut off one for five hours, so I'm sure they could do a better job at it than I am. Having the Ecobees aware of one another would also help Alexa. The two thermostats are not that far away from each other, so it's common for both of them to hear the wake word when I say it. Typically, one will answer the question, and the other will respond by saying that the service is not currently available. 
which is obviously because the other one answered first. Also, we often use Alexa in the kitchen as a cooking timer, but one thermostat, which is now the closest Alexa device to the kitchen, reports that it isn't equipped to do that. Kind of strange. So I don't know if I'd buy the Ecobee 4s again, given all the shortcomings with Alexa in a multi-device environment, but I'd definitely go Ecobee. The units are very attractive and easy to use. And the best thing about shortcomings uh, in programmable devices like these is that it's all fixable in firmware. In the meantime, I do still like the devices, even if I never do get those upgrades that I'm asking for. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.